coming up on Lloyd and Mandy. This is a tea plantation. Hello! <laughs> tea plantation just here. And this is the garden that we get to look out from, from our room. It's so beautiful. Lloyd's having some chook chook problems here. Doesn't seem to want to get going today. Is it alright? <laughs> Solo female travelers add this place to your list. Being a nomad is not a vacation. It's freedom, but it's also discipline. It's an exchange of security for enhanced experiences. It's a way of life. Before we get into the episode, we need to say thank you to Level 8 for sponsoring this video and making this free content possible. If you want to live the nomadic lifestyle, you'll need luggage that can keep up with you on your journey. That's why we choose Level 8 luggage. We've been using Level 8 luggage for over a year now because like us, they're all about traveling light and efficiently. We use these 24 inch check-in suitcases because although they're big enough to fit everything we need, they're not too big to drag around big cities on adventures or on public transport such as buses and trains. Even though our suitcases have flown all over the world with us, they're still in amazing condition and that's because their luggage is made from high quality materials that are built to last. We love how lightweight they are, making them super easy to carry around. They're also made from waterproof material in case you get caught in a rainstorm, which actually seems to happen a lot to us. They also have 360 degree spinning wheels, which makes it super easy to get through a busy airport, as well as a lock feature for added security and peace of mind. They also offer a lifetime warranty on all of their products. If you're interested in leveling up your luggage game, try Level 8. Click the link down in the description below. All right, now let's get into the episode. Okay, we arrived in, I'm going to butcher the name of this, Narawa Elia? Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, yesterday we were absolutely buggered, so we pretty much went straight to bed. Like we went to dinner and went to bed. Um, we're staying at this beautiful place called the Tea Garden. It makes me feel like I'm Alice in Wonderland. It's so beautiful, there's flowers everywhere, we're just like in a garden it's stunning um, but unfortunately the weather has been very very wet uh, so we've pretty much just been doing computer work and catching up on sleep since we've been here we've kind of been taking it as a chance to rest but the rain has just stopped for a minute so we're gonna duck out see if we can fly the drone around and show you guys a little bit of this place while we're here um, before it starts raining again so we better get going you can see why they call it little England here <laughs> Um, it literally feels like we're in English countryside or something. It's just like old English style buildings and heaps of tea plantations, a couple of pubs. We went to one last night, which was pretty cool. And it's really cold. Like we weren't prepared to be cold. <laughs> no. Trying out at all. I feel like that always happens. 
we just assume like it's hot everywhere and then you come up to the mountains and it's freezing cold and like I literally have one pair of pants and one jumper Mandy's you don't even have a pair of pants really do you? No. All I have is a tracksuit. Last time we came to Asia I carried around jeans and jumpers and like cardigans and stuff. Didn't use them once the entire time and they just took up so much space in my suitcase. So I took a chance this time. Failed. <laughs> Miserably. Um, so I'm wearing a tracksuit pretty much the whole time that we're here. Is what it is. Everyone can think I'm a little bit um, underdressed, but I don't care. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can fly this drone, Lloyd. Yeah, I mean, we're only doing a quick stop over here, two nights. Um, and because of the weather, like, we're not really that keen to stick around. We're heading to a really nice hotel in Candy tomorrow. But we at least want to show you guys what it looks like because it looks like it could be a cool place to spend a few days if you have the time on your trip. And if the weather is better. I think we've just come here at a very, very rainy time. I'm, I'm kind of assuming that it is always wet here because it is very lush around, but it is stunning. The buildings are beautiful. Can't wait to show you. This is a tea plantation. Hello. <laughs> tea plantation just here. And this is the garden that we get to look out from from our room. It's so beautiful. You can just see all the tea plantations all in the distance. So stunning. It's having some tuk tuk problems here. Doesn't seem to want to get going today. Is it alright? Seems to be just idling really low whenever I put it into gear, it shuts off. Uh oh. This driveway is so hectic to get out of because <laughs> it's so steep you have to go up and rev it all the way in first gear but then you've got to stop right at the top before you get to the highway otherwise you're going to get t-boned by a car or a truck or something <laughs> and you've got to do that like without stalling it and going back down. <laughs> Take one split second to see if anyone's coming and then just keep going, otherwise you can't You're find stuck. <laughs> Some of the horses wild here? No? No? Because I've seen horses just walking around yes. town. They just roam free. Yes. Very cool. Beautiful. Thank you. Uh, I'm from Canada. The first time you've seen Anka? 
Yes, I you love like it. it. I love it so much. You okay with Lauren? Uh, my husband is actually just back there, yeah. Right. Have a nice day. You too. Lovely to meet you. Yes, I do. I'm just doing a little walk around by myself while Lloyd flies the drone. Um, I just want to mention if you're a solo female traveler, I would definitely feel safe enough coming to Sri Lanka on my own, which is saying something. Yeah, everyone's so friendly. I haven't had one moment where I've felt unsafe yet, and uh, everyone's always said hello to me, smiled, waved, wanted to know where I'm from. So, solo female travelers, add this place to your list. from what we said we were going to do. But. So we're going to leave at 9. Oh, it's 9.20. Come on, let's go. <laughs> we've got a three and a half hour drive, so we'll be there in about five hours probably. puppies running on like the busiest highway. I don't know where it was running to. They look so scared. I was gonna take them somewhere safe, but they were terrified of me, so. Oh, my heart. Look how bundled up I am right now. I'm so cold. busy <laughs> compared to where we've been it's a very big city so far every accommodation that we've pretty much stayed at has had a, like a crazy driveway or a road or something to get to it we're like lodged right in the jungle it's I'm so excited to see it this place is meant to be incredible Come to Arun now. It's fresh amarillo juice. Which I don't know what an amarillo is, but it's tasty. <laughs> Which was really nice. Oh. Hello. Yeah. Just oh my goodness. One of your new favourite, aren't you? Yeah. This is amazing. We just, I think. 
Our plan was to come and stay here and explore Candy for three days, but now I'm like thinking, uh, uh, let's just stay here. <laughs> yeah, how do you pull yourself away from somewhere like this? We've had a pretty hectic, what, four or five weeks of travel. Um, and we've got like one week left after this of driving around Sri Lanka. We've got a lot of stuff to see. So I'm thinking we just use this time to chill. Yeah. 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 This is beautiful. <laughs> and they've got breakfast, lunch, and dinner at any time, and a gym, so this is perfect. Yeah. Be like a new man after this. <laughs> yeah. You can get a massage and stuff if you want. Yoga. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about this breakfast we've just been served with? probably the best view ever for a breakfast. I'm just in shock, sort of. Like, this is the most incredible breakfast we've ever been served. We had the sunrise come over the mountains this morning. Got to swim in the pool. I just finished doing yoga. I'm in heaven. <laughs> yeah, it's incredible. When we drove through Candy and we actually planned this stay, I was preparing myself for like a really hectic city, which Candy is. So it's nice to be up in the hills and have some peace and quiet because things have been pretty hectic for us the last couple of weeks and uh, it's going to get hectic again. But check out this breakfast spread they've given us. Um, this is called the governor's breakfast. So you have a choice of like a local Sri Lankan breakfast or an English style breakfast. We chose English today. We'll probably do Sri Lankan tomorrow just to test it out. But look at the spread. We got. Eggs Benny, I've got a coffee, look at all these muffins and bread and what is that? Croissants, croissants yeah. jam, we've got fresh, fresh fruit. fruit, porridge, smoothies, <laughs> more fruit. Lots of veggies, sweet potatoes, some sausages. Something tells me we're not eating lunch today. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the chefs here have just whipped up an amazing feast right by the pool. They do this as a cooking class, so you can actually join in and they teach you how to cook all of this using all fresh local ingredients. Um, they harvest them all from around the area and then cook at the same day, so it's completely fresh. There's usually like one or two seafood options, a couple of vegetarian options, and then they mix it all in with the curry. It takes about half an hour to cook and then at the end of it, you sit down, have a nice meal, which I think is a pretty cool touch. Uh, as you can see, like the view from here, it's probably probably the best view I've ever seen for a cooking class. I don't know about you, but it's pretty incredible. Okay, we've been here a few days relaxing. I haven't really left the room since we got here. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't left the room once. Like, I got a massage yeah. and that was it. I've been fully indulging, like Lloyd's been wandering, exploring, doing fun things and I've been just such a sloth. I've been enjoying it so much, but we're gonna go check out the main pool cause it's sunny right now and it looks really beautiful. I think this place has just been added to my top five. I think I'm also going to do a blog post of all my favorite hotels that we've actually stayed at throughout our travels. So I'll let you guys know on our Instagram when that goes live, uh, just so you're aware of all the places that you should add to your bucket list. And this is definitely one of them.
All right, we're just getting ready to check out of this incredible resort. Uh, there seems to be a huge group of monkeys just working their way through. Oh my goodness. <laughs> working their way through the trees just next to us, spooking me out a little bit. <laughs> Our stay here has been absolutely incredible. The hospitality has been second to none. We will leave a link in the description to this place. Um, it's a little bit outside of Candy, so it's a very beautiful, relaxing place to come. So we're gonna be heading to a little bit more of an affordable stay. So we'll show you guys sort of just what you can get, different options here in and around Candy. And we're gonna do a little bit of an adventure in the city. I need to buy a new journal, so I'm hoping we can head to the market and find one of them. Uh, and Lloyd's got a pretty cool day planned out for us as well, so take you guys for the adventure around here. <laughs> ah, there's a few steps here. We've yet to stay at a place that hasn't had a hectic driveway or a lot of steps. <laughs> Was it three nights there? Yeah. Of um, really doing nothing. And now I feel recharged for this last week of driving around Sri Lanka. We've got a lot of stops to do, so. Uh, don't open this door. And this Ooh. glass. And this you could have walked Have people into... walked through this before? No. Has anyone walked through it before? Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe all morning, morning. Yeah. Yeah. Morning and walk, through it. walk through. It's very clean. <laughs> okay. I'm impressed by this hotel. Whoa! You just did it. it. <laughs> Why don't I, I put almost did there? too. I know, there needs to be like lines on it or something. Oh shit. <laughs> I can't believe you. I thought you were joking. <laughs> How much was this a night? 35 US. That's very good. It's 50 bucks Canadian maybe, Australian. Look at the view. Pretty sick. the cities are in Sri Lanka. I feel like in comparison to like Canada or the US we have a tendency to like get rid of a lot of trees and put a lot more concrete and things in cities but they've really integrated the buildings in with nature. It's so nice it is like doesn't feel like you're in a city sometimes. It's really beautiful. arrived at the botanical gardens. It's 3,000 rupees 
each to come in. It's very beautiful so far. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this was one of the main things we got recommended to do here in Candy. Um, there wasn't too much stuff we got recommended to do here. Basically this and the Temple of the Tooth. Uh, Candy's an interesting city. It's the second biggest city in Sri Lanka. But it's surrounded by mountains, so like it, it's not expanding or anything, so it just stays the same size. And most of the stuff to do in Candy isn't in Candy. It's around Candy. <laughs> It's got a list of things you're not supposed to do in the garden. Um, camping, drinking, fishing, pets, cutting down trees, skateboarding, fires, music, smoking, guns, bikes. You can't play soccer in here. <laughs> So I was having a chat to the manager at the resort we were just staying at and it was pretty interesting to hear his um, point of view about how Sri Lanka is changing. People who have travelled and people from Asia probably already know this but like in local Sri Lankan villages they generally only eat vegetables, they don't eat meat and it's all grown in their village or even at their house which makes them like fully self-sustainable and if they have like extra of anything they just um, trade it for something else so traditionally like villages don't go out and get jobs and work because they don't need to they have everything they need which sort of sounds like a pretty cool way to live life like you don't need anything else I asked him about like medical what about if you get sick, like you need to pay to see the doctor and he said that medical is actually free, it's covered in Sri Lanka. And then I asked about schooling and everything and he said that too, it's free, even up to university is covered by the government. Which actually sounds like kind of insane that these first world countries like Australia, Canada, America, like we, we don't get all that stuff covered and everybody just wants to go out and make money and try and get the best car, buy a mansion, whatever it is, status. And in Sri Lanka, it, it's really not been like that, but he did say that the younger generation is starting to want more and it's starting to change and it's not really sustainable like that anymore, which kind of sucks. And it's probably, I'd say, a result of social media and television, making people think that they need a lot more than what they got. Should we keep going? It's going to rain, I think. Yeah. Make it to the temple before it's too late. Cream trucks everywhere. <laughs> Alright, we're going to the Temple of the Tooth. I thought it was the Temple of the Truth for a while. <laughs> but it's um it's actually supposedly the Buddha's tooth. Like that's actually what it is. So cool. Uh, it's been disputed by like other countries have tried to claim it and stuff, but Shrine has got it I guess. Nice. Yeah, 
What is it? This is our national flower, blue water lily, and this is jasmine. You know, basically people buying flowers then offer to the Buddha, yeah. and this is real good thing, sir. Okay. If you like, you can buy flowers. They have big flower table. Okay. You can keep there, then you can make a wish. Okay. How much for the? The whole pack, five hundred rupees. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You doing YouTube channel? Yes. Yeah. yeah. There you go. What is the name? Lloyd and Mandy. Let me have a okay. <laughs> We got a new subscriber. Yeah. <laughs> Done? Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Hello. A lot of steps and a lot of security to get in here, eh? Yeah. <laughs> There's like security checkpoint with police and everything. X-ray, pat, pat you down. Then you gotta get your ticket. Have to have exact cash only. It was 2,000 rupees each. And then you can't bring your shoes in. Even in your bag, you gotta leave them in the shoe locker. restaurant called? Uh, Sweet Beans Cafe. And you just opened? Uh, yes. Yeah. We are now open uh, four months and a half. Okay. okay, we just made an awesome new friend. His name is USB. Um, if you do come to the Temple of Two, uh, check out Sweet Beans Vegan Cafe. He's so lovely. Really nice to have a chat with. It's the first restaurant just as you come in. You can't miss it. Check it out. Support his small business. He just started it. Hideout Lounge. Um, it had really good reviews, so we're gonna check it out. I 
do not recommend driving a tuk tuk at night in a big city when it's raining. You can't get the fog off the window. It just doesn't come off. No, it's just permanently foggy. <laughs> so sketchy. Nuara Elia. Nuara Elia. Nuara Elia. I keep forgetting. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no. You get rid of that. Yeah, that works. Oh my goodness, I'm scared they're gonna jump on me. I ate too much. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're headed to the. Oh, he doesn't like us. Hey! <laughs> 